Hi everyone, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Well, we've got a, a special uh, kit to share with you guys today. This is a new, I won't call it pre-production because it's actually due to come out any time now. This is the actual final version of it. And this is the LaFerrari 124 scale from Tamiya of the yellow version. And the reason we call it yellow version is inside because they have released this kit already with red. And this is a yellow version, meaning that the main body panels are all molded in yellow. And the benefit of this is a lot of modelers, uh, if you have a red version, red kit already, and you wanted to do it in a lighter color like a, a yellow or a white, it's a lot more work to get the, uh, the, the color neutralized. Because if you just sprayed yellow paint over the red plastic, you're going to come up with this funky looking orange, even if you put like four or five coats on it. Now, yes, you can prime it with black and then prime it with regular gray and then build up on it. But to me, I wanted to make it easier that if you're going to be wanting to build this kit in yellow, it's already ready to go. In fact, the yellow plastic is absolutely gorgeous inside this kit. There are no swirls whatsoever. In fact, you probably, if you didn't want to, you could probably just put a coat of clear coat on this and have a, a pretty decent looking uh, car right out of the box. So we're not going to do that. We're going to actually paint it up. But we're going to be using Tamiya spray cans because for model car kits, I love using Tamiya spray cans. I think they put on a beautiful glossy finish. We use the TS-13, their clear gloss. We don't have to set that up in the uh, the airbrush or anything. Yeah, that's my uh, 3D printer going off on it. We've got, we've got the legs and most of the dinosaur printed too. So you can see it's starting to come to start to come together here how big it's going to be so the legs or excuse me the ribs are getting printed up right now that's what that beeping noise is but but back to this kit right here so i'm excited I, i've actually had a lot of fun lately building up the uh, tamiya cars that we've received in and i want to thank tamiya usa for getting this kit out to us early the kit is due out in the united states i believe in the beginning of april and, it, and if you can't find this one, you still might be able to find the red version out there too because they're going to build up pretty much the same way. But excited to do. If I had a real one in probably real life, I'd probably take uh, probably the red one, you know, Ferrari red. But I would not turn down the yellow one too if someone wanted to give me one. So, But enough of that. Let's get started on it. Okay, we've jumped basically right into the build on this, and that is partially because when I was gluing these uh, six, seven pieces together for the engine, I wasn't recording at the time. So, all super simple. It's Like I said, there's probably a grand total of six pieces here, just lining them up properly, and this is all going to get painted a aluminum color. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to first spray the entire thing TS-14 black from Tamiya. That's a good gloss black. And then we are going to go over it with Vallejo's uh, Dura aluminum. And I like that as a good aluminum color. We also have a bunch of these other pieces that we're going to assemble. And just a, a quick little builder's note, this little tab right here on both of them, it looks like it, it's one of those little, you know, nubs that you cut off and everything. That actually is part of the kit, so don't cut those off. I almost did that, and I looked, I go, I better check on that, and sure enough, it is part. Now, I just cut these off, so I have to do a little sanding on them, and then we do have to build up the little box for the... Uh, the other side but these two are going to get painted a metal color and we got to like I said do some sanding on that so this gets all fitted together we're going to fit all of these together but these are going to get painted a chrome they're supposed to be a lot brighter and shinier so we're going to do the same thing TS-14 underneath and then chrome on top of it there now obviously this has an engine in it because this type of kit because the the back of the vehicle has a big glass dome that you can see the engine inside so it's not a curbside model and actually, I'm going to pull this off real quick. And once you get the lower part of the pan in here, you can see that this just literally plugs right in. There's a little snap on the bottom. And you've got your whole engine mounted in there. But we're not going to do that yet. We want to go ahead and paint that up. So I'm going to go take this outside, spray it the TS-14, then spray the, uh, the other metal colors on it and come back. And Oh, also, one other quick thing, too. The exhausts are also a chrome, too. So we want to spray all of that stuff right while we have the airbrush out.
Okay, it's about time that we can go ahead and glue the engine into place. We already have the exhaust glued down. And I forgot to show you guys, uh, I did, obviously you can see, forget to paint those red, the heads on the, uh, the engine first. That I would highly recommend doing because it's just a lot easier while they're one piece. I had only just put a touch of glue on each one so we we're able to snap them right off and, and then go back and paint them the red with the, uh, the silver and black highlights on it. Now as you can see too there's some seams on the, the engine that look kind of big and kind of bit you know very noticeable but not to worry about the all of just about all of that is going to get covered over with another type of shroud that goes into place. So we have like the, the aluminum engine, the chrome on the uh, mufflers and all the exhaust system, plus we painted this the uh, chrome color as well too. It just, most of it is not going to be seen, but if you do ever see just a little bit of a glint inside there, you'll know that there is some metal color going on in there. So now we can move on to the next step. Right now I am in the process of gluing on some of the supports for the, uh, the other part of the chassis. And I'm going to glue all these on together, paint the entire thing as one big piece just using uh, TS-18, their semi-gloss black. And then we'll go back and touch these parts up. And also installed a few other supports on that. And I'll just give you an idea how this is just going to basically snap together right here. Right on top. And there it goes. You hear the click. And I should also point out too, I also went over the engine with a little bit of Tamiya's black panel liner. And just lightly, just to make some of the little bolt heads and things pop out a little bit. Did it all over it there. So let's go paint this right now, and then we can attach it like they call out for in the instructions. And that way we don't have to worry about doing any painting around that engine that we've already done. Okay, now we've, uh, we've glued those two paths together. And now we've also noticed, too, we've put the uh, calipers and rotors on. And we're just going to put a few of these... Uh, ground effects pieces on and these just literally clip right into place here we will glue them as well and we also have the back here now you'll notice there are quite a few injection pin marks on this but I was studying a little bit further ahead into the build and once you pop this in here there are going to be pieces that cover over all those injection pin marks so not really necessary to go ahead and uh, clean all those up we will glue those down in a few minutes. Right now we're working on the air box for the back here and we've got to put a few more coats of paint on. I also have one other little piece that is going to get glued into place right there. And what I'm going to show you basically is we have a, a decal that goes right down the middle of here as well as some metal transfers that say Ferrari. And those are going to get placed right here on the little little indicator marks. So we've got the uh, the decal soaking there, and we'll just put a little bit of mark fit on here because we want it to really conform inside. Okay, we'll let the decal soak for a minute. So now we're ready to apply it down the center. And a little bit of adjustment here. We'll get that into place. And I'm going to put a couple of coats of Mark Fit Strong again back on it. Really get that to transform and soak into the area and make, make it look like it was painted on. And then after that dries, we're going to go ahead and put those little uh, metal transfers. Now there is a little sheet of film that you definitely want to leave attached to it right there so you don't mess them up in the meantime. Also, we don't want to put these on until after we've let the decal set up and we clear coat and seal the decal in. We don't want to get clear coat on top of this. It might, might dull the finish down a little bit. Okay, we're about to put the, uh, the Ferrari symbol on and we're kind of just lightly burnishing it down with the piece face up. And I'm using these because these, these will grab it a little bit better. And hopefully if we did it right, slowly pull it off you'll see the Ferrari emblem right on there. Now we're ready to install the firewall and we'll glue that into place there. The air box will now fit right on top of here like so. And then we've got a few other little parts 
that. Of course, we're going to glue all these down. And that's going to get popped right in there. And then finally, we have this really tiny little chrome piece, which I'm assuming is for the oil reservoir in here that we will glue that right into place here. So uh, we're going to go ahead and glue these four parts into place and we'll come back and we'll start on the next step. Now I have the rear wheel housing that we need to put into place and these will get glued. They got to come in kind of at a weird angle. But once that once you get that angle right, it'll just snap right into place there and but before we do that we do need to attach this piece of mesh material that is included with the kit and we'll go ahead and glue those on and that on both sides of the vehicle now you may also notice too that I've been put the little uh, seats in here I just got done painting those red kind of like a red leather color that's called out uh, I haven't done any detailing on it. I just dropped them into place to see how it looks it starts to be really cool the way all these different colors are coming together on it so I'm gonna go ahead and get these rear uh, wheel housings glued in that was a kind of a tough one to save uh, and then we'll come back and work on the next step I've gone ahead and attached the uh, the dash as well as the steering wheel on the bottom we painted all of the red color that was uh, necessary for this particular vehicle and unfortunately I <laughs> Part of the video that was showing putting it together there's only like six pieces right there uh did not come out so i don't have that but rest assured it goes together really well now we have the uh the top of the roof here or the roof i should say of the car and we've sprayed this with the uh the semi-gloss black and you can see that it'll just basically glue right into position right like that and we have basically and i i glued these up just to just to see how everything fits. And it fits just how you would expect it to fit from a Tamiya kit. All of that will plug right in on top of that. And you can see how we have the vehicle starting to come along. Now, obviously we're gonna paint all of these separately. We want them to be a nice shiny yellow, although the plastic is so nice, it almost looks like it's already been painted. So I'm gonna glue this portion onto it right now, and then we'll come back and work on the next step. Okay, you can see that we've gone ahead and just temporarily placed the uh, the tires and wheels on. Wanted to get a, a general sense on how the vehicle is coming along. And I have to say, I'm very, very impressed with the way everything just fits and goes together. Uh, it's just a, a very, very cool little, just even the way it is right here without any body panels on it, it looks extremely, extremely cool looking. Now we're in the process also, we're gonna start assembling the front grill, which is the, uh, the little mesh, which I'll get a little piece of it right here. This is the mesh that comes with it, which we've cut out and we've glued into place right here. And I'm just going along and finishing up the edges here. Most of the edges aren't gonna be seen, but we just wanna make it as clean as possible. It's gonna be, uh, I've got another one to put on the other side here as well. And then once that gets done, that'll get glued into place right down here. So you will be able to see just a little bit of those vents, especially once this goes over it here. So with that in mind, uh, the next step that it's calling out for after we finish these off is going to be to start assembling the doors. Okay, using a mixture of Tamiya's flexible tape going around the edge as well as this to kind of cover up and make sure we don't get any overspray, we need to spray the top of the doors black. Now we're just going to show you how the, the front goes together. I'm just using a very little glue on that connection point. This will, I can hold it properly, we'll get glued right into place here. And then it'll be followed up with this piece, but this piece won't go in until after everything has been painted. And with that done, we can go ahead and glue the, the front vents in, but we're gonna let that dry a little bit more before we do. And while we have these pieces out, I thought I would just show you that once that gets glued into place underneath, that is going to cover up any of the edges because the top edge is covered up inside the hood and all of these pieces will completely block it off. So you'll have a nice clean surface even using this uh, mesh material. Okay, now to me has included some masking stickers that as you can see we've started to put on and this will keep our clear parts clear but still be able to paint 
all of the outer edge of the window frames. And that is true for the windshield too. One thing I just want to point out to you too, I'll just kind of peel this back. If you'll know, well actually we don't even have to, we can show it right here. You can see that the line, the out edge line, the outer edge line does not match the actual edge of the, uh, the sticker, which in this, because they're pre-cut, makes no difference. But many of you may have noticed too, when you get like airplane kits or anything like that, they are not die cut and they have just a line. And I'm wondering if that line on the edge is too big or if you need to cut inside or just gives you a ballpark uh, you know, shape of it. But uh, these are cut to shape and they fit perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the front windshield one on now as well. And then we're gonna paint them the semi-gloss black that they require. One other tip I'll point out to you too, when you go to paint this, I think it's a very good idea to definitely mask the entire back of the decal, or excuse me, of the clear part. And that is just in case if you have any bleed through or anything blast from the spray can or the airbrush, whatever you're using, that you don't get any on the underside. Okay, we peeled off the masking tape on the front windscreen, came out pretty good, and that'll just click into place like that we'll glue it in of course later on as well then we also have the I don't know rack, lack of a better word uh, rear windscreen this is the piece that uh, the glass cover for the engine that'll get mounted right about there but inside the actual back part of the uh, the car panels and uh, I've actually been working on this kit now for probably about about a month now. In fact, in the beginning of the video, you may have noticed that we have the dinosaur there in multiple parts, which if you watch the channel at all, you'll know that the, uh, the dinosaur has been done for a couple of weeks now. And I was in no rush to build this kit. It was, it was just going to be a fun build, kind of work on it a little bit, take a break, work on it. And, you know, as other new kits came out, I'd work on those, worked on the Panther for a little while, etc. And I know in the beginning of the video, I was telling you that we were going to paint the outer body panels, but how nice the body panels look. Well, I've had this kit sitting on my front tables, my little, my little studio, as we call it, in the front of the store. And quite a few people were commenting how beautiful the yellow plastic was right out of the container, or, you know, out of the box. And a few of them have kind of basically challenged me to, hey, why don't you see, you know, for an experiment... Why don't you see if you can clear coat, sand, clear coat, sand, you know, the typical thing, right on the plastic and see how it comes out. And at first I thought, nah, I'm just going to paint it like I would normally do. But uh, the more I started thinking about it, I think I decided on that is what I'm going to do. And the reason so is, obviously, there's a lot of great modelers out there. And, you know, I do this mainly to, to show you the the ins and outs on building the kits but I do it mainly first and foremost to have fun and I'm not into hyper detailing I used to do stuff like that a long time ago and honestly it kind of burned me out to modeling uh, I like building you know good enough that makes me happy and that I'm, I'm excited about the kit and that's what I've done right here now these are the first panels that I've put on that I've I've clear coated sanded with 3000 grit paper put on another clear coat did a little sanding on it and then one more coat of clear coat on it and then we'll finally wax it once we get it all on there but honestly I'm very very impressed with the uh, the color and the the depth of it hopefully you can see it on camera there we've started working on this as well I still have some more sanding on it. We also put the rear portion of the uh, the front piece on here. So this will, now we're missing the lights and things like that. So keep in mind about that, that this is still a work in progress. But we started putting the decals on. And the depth and the clarity of the uh, the clear coat on that yellow plastic is just, just really, really cool. And what I thought I would do is, like I said, there's so many customers that come in that are looking for a weekend project and I go that's what I'm gonna build this for I'm gonna build that for them to show them that you can basically build this with a minimal amount of tools minimal amount of supplies and still have a really really beautiful model that you can be proud of so I know some of you might be upset oh he's why didn't he paint it then this and that and the if you're a fabulous car modeler you guys you guys know how to uh, you know paint this up really well this is more or less to show you how this kit goes together that if you've never built the uh, la ferrari from tamia and that it, if you do decide that you don't want to paint it 
uh, you'll be able to take a look at this video and decide, hey, that looks pretty good just the way it came out of the box. So hopefully uh, most of you will stick around and keep watching to the end. I'm sure probably most of you are probably just excited just to say, let's see what it really looks like. And if it's terrible looking, you know, we'll comment on it. So let's get back to the rest of the build. Well, you might be wondering why the car is black. And that is because the using the yellow plastic just the way it was did not work out the way I thought. To start off, it was looking really good. We had sprayed it with a couple of coats of TS-13 and everything was going fine until we got to the section of the door and where the inner part of the door, which is black, meets up to the outer part of the door. It left like a black shadow around there that was easily visible and just did not look right. So, and after looking at the yellow, I thought the black looked much better online, so I just went ahead and painted the entire thing with TS-14 gloss black. Now this is just the first coat, and none of this stuff is attached. The windows, all that stuff, I kind of just dropped everything into place to give you guys an idea what was happening on it. I have multiple sandings and gloss coats to go on this right here to get a real, real deep shine, and then we'll use a little uh, car polish to to polish it out a little bit. So I'm gonna work on that now for the next couple of hours and get it to a real, real deep shine, make sure there's no flaws. And then we will go and start to attach all these body parts. Well, here we are, here's the completed model. As you can see, we've attached all the mirrors and all the other little accessory pieces, including the two little signal lights on the side of the car, which are the tiniest pieces of plastic you've ever wanted to see. It's uh, really difficult getting those on but you hopefully you can see them on the side there as the as the car comes around uh, I have to say I really do like the black I think the black is actually even a nicer color than the yellow and if I was having a real one I think the uh, the order it would go would be red black and then finally yellow as a third runner-up but uh, the kit itself a very very nice kit goes together I would say pretty well it is a little bit more difficult because of the type of parts that are involved on this kit uh, maybe for a newer modeler might have a little bit of trouble because it's not one big body piece as you can see it's multiple pieces and getting everything but the uh, the fit is very well on it now you may also notice too that there are no Ferrari decals on the doors or on the hood of the car and that was because when we had it in the yellow we had put the decals on there and sealed those in so we had to paint over them now I've ordered a, a new set of decals that will eventually uh, put on there but I just didn't have any and it's gonna be a while before they are but if you can kind of imagine it that way I think it'll look a little bit of flash of color and that's why I left the yellow still on the brake calipers to give it a little homage back to the the yellow that we had started to build point I thought about editing out the uh, the parts with the yellow in it but I thought I would leave that in to kind of show you guys that that's part of modeling sometimes sometimes you try something out doesn't work the way you thought it was and then you move on to something else. I primarily used to me a spray cans, uh, mainly TS-14 to do the body and I found it to be a real fun and challenging build and although it's not perfect I'm pretty happy with the results. So I want to thank you guys as always for watching and please stay tuned because we have many more videos coming.